Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. Glad you joined us today. Today I'm going to show you how to make corn gasada in a crock pot. Okay, now we're going to get started on our corn gasada. It's a real simple dish. It's very easy. We're going to let this cook all night and in the morning we're going to have a, a fantastic breakfast. I'm going to come over here and show you the ingredients that we have to go into our corn gasada. Now here's the seasonings that we'll be using for our, our corn gasada. Um, I have two cups of diced onion, a cup of diced bell pepper. Um, here I have cominos or cumin, one tablespoon, a tablespoon of granulated garlic, a tablespoon of black pepper, one and a half tablespoons of salt, three bay leaves. And along with that, I'm going to have two tablespoons of Knorr brand tomato bouillon with chicken, and it's going to have a can of tomato sauce, a, uh, what is that, eight ounce can of tomato sauce. And then that is going in to my meat. And in my meat, you can see here, I have about four pounds of sirloin. Now, you could use ground chuck, uh, or not ground chuck, but you could use a chuck roast. Uh, you could use a tougher a tougher type of meat, because uh, we're gonna stew this, and it'll tender up over the long cooking time. But they had some steaks on sale. My wife grabbed two thick sliced sirloins. And one thing you wanna make sure you do is, is trim the fat and gristle off any of the meat you do. Nothing worse than having a nice corn gasada taco and getting a mouthful of fat or gristle. But we're gonna take these items, put them right into the crock pot, set it on low, and let it cook all night. All right, crock pot's going. First thing to go in will be my meat. And uh, it is lightly floured. It's a seasoned flour. has a little salt, pepper, garlic in it already. I just do that and it helps with my, I feel like it helps with my thickening process. A lot of people don't do that. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with not doing it. Uh, after the meat goes in, I take my bouillon, sprinkle it around on top of the meat. Then my seasonings, comino, pepper, garlic. Mix those around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my bay leaves out. And the reason why is I'm going to give this a stir in a second. And I don't want to break these bay leaves up because if I find them in the morning, I'm going to try to pull them out. Now, my diced up large onion. That's about probably two bell peppers. Something like that. Those go into the crock pot, right on top of them, an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce, that's in. Now the spoon, give this a little stir just so the seasonings get down on all the meat. In the morning, if I don't see it's thick enough like I want it to be, I may, uh, Add a little thickening, but that's it. It's done. It's ready to go. Gonna add my bay leaves now. Kind of spread those out. Let them get down in there so they'll get in the moisture. And try to pick your bay leaves out. Nobody wants to eat a bay leaf. I you can tell that's a pretty easy dish. Uh, we're gonna leave this till morning. Uh, did this a little different tonight. Didn't have any help uh, recording, so we did a little different. Kind of doing this on my own. Uh, got the wife over there. She's actually washing dishes that we had dirty today and cleaning up. You can probably hear the dishwashing going on in the back. Uh, she said she'd clean up if I'd prepare breakfast. So made a deal on that. Son's down in his in his uh, building over there playing music. Y'all may hear a little classic rock going on in the background too. Not sure if any of that came through on the microphone or not. But anyways, let's hold tight. And uh, in the morning we'll get out here and we'll see how our pot of corn gasada turned out. Good morning. We have our corn gasada finished. We're going to take a look at it and see how it turned out. It's been sitting out in the crock pot all night cooking for us. And that looks pretty, let me tell you. So 
a good looking, good looking pot. It smells good. Let me show you one part is how tender this meat got. All right, let's check and see how tender this turned out. There's one of the chunks of meat that came out of our corner cassada pot. And we'll get it where you can see it good, but I can take that knife and I'll just smash it with my knife and it falls apart. This shows you how tender it is. So it's cooked all night. It's very, very tender. I'm gonna try and see how it tastes. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see if we can make a taco. All right, we're gonna make a taco. And I have a fresh tortilla right off the stove. That's how you cool a tortilla if y'all don't know. <laughs> try to cool it down so I can hold it. Alright, I think I hold it now. Let's see if we can make a taco out of this. Here we go. Plenty of corn gasada in there. You get some red sauce. Sprinkle it right across the top. Looks like a good taco. We're going to give it a try. I'll put a link to my red sauce uh, down below in the description so y'all can see that. Alright. Standing up eating a taco is not always the neatest thing. Let's see if we can give it a try though. Very, very, very good. Very tender. Excellent corn gasada taco. The only thing I would say is, is a little bit salty. Now, one thing to remember is, is that your, your base has salt in it. So if you're using the Nor bullion cubes, I think there may be a little bit less salt in two of those. I use two tablespoons of the of the Nor tomato with chicken. And uh, I had salt in that. I added one and a half tablespoons of salt. So you got a little bit too much salt. I'll probably back off to about a half tablespoon of salt. Uh, wait till the next morning. Try it again and see how it turns out. But anyways, excellent, excellent taco. I hope you enjoyed my corne gasada video. I thank you for watching it. If you have not subscribed to Texas Style Cuisine, I really appreciate that you did that. Did that. And uh, if you haven't given me a thumbs up, if you enjoyed this, give me the big thumbs up on the video. Always appreciate those. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine, and we'll see you next time. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen